got him hurt bad. As his opponent postures up, he opens it. He's got him stacked. He's dropping big ground call. His opponent better move, or they're gonna stop this fight. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. 20 seconds to go in round one. Bunches and bunches for Nick Diaz now. He's hurt. He's hurt. Just before the horn, saved by the belt. So now back to the stool. He has only 60. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Here we are, early round two. Beautiful kick to the body. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, beautiful hook there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the middle. Oh, oh. Diaz is bleeding from the mouth. What a connection right off the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That oh. oh, he hurt him again. Able to check the high kick. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Covington's now dealing with a cheat cut. Devastating overcut. Let's go inside the octagon now to Bruce Buffer.
You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. A pro dating to 2001. Here is the veteran Nick Diaz, former UFC title challenger. 13 wins by knockout. Another eight. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, he lands a massive kick. Over and over and over. He's landing these nasty body kicks. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, big elbow. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, oh he is hurting for something. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, that's big. Big right hand. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt, and he's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Oh, these are some impactful knees he is throwing, and I guess until his opponent adjusts, might as well keep throwing them. He's going to keep going to the well. Why would he change it? His opponent has not been able to figure out these knees. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fist. Under 90 seconds to go. Oh, beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. Oh, that shot cut him. Yeah, it did. You know, you don't expect it. Sometimes the cuts happen when you least expect it, and right now that's exactly what happened. Under a minute to go in the round. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, that is exactly how you turn defense into offense. Catches the kick and dumps him on the mat. What a great job timing that kick, driving into his opponent and putting him on his back. What a great job getting that kick to the target. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Straight ahead. All right, good news is the round is over. Bad news, oh, Diaz's corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cutman's got his work to do now. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round here. Slips the shot. Beautiful right hand. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Nice front kick. Roundhouse kick, style points on that one. He's got a great chin. Mazda is one of the toughest guys that you've ever seen step foot in the octagon. He's not a great fight. Game bread gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. All right, beautiful yeah. body kick by him there. Really employing that weapon well in this matchup. Beautiful body kick thrown by this guy, maintaining his distance, setting up something for later in the fight, whether it's low or try to take it all the way up top. Takedown defense holds up. So we hit the three-minute mark here in the second round. Beautiful. Take that many kicks 
It doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. And he caught the kick. All right, so he catches the kick there. And beautiful. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, huge left. Oh, big shots getting through. Swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Oh, he might get finished here. Big knee lands there. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, he didn't like that left hand. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find time to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out of the space. Find places to rest and recover. Get against the gas and go to the clinch. Find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Tough job, but somebody's got to do it, man. Absolutely <laughs> incredible. Both fighters got stunned. It's amazing to think that we fight on. We are in the best seat in the house to watch two men go out there and really lay it on the line. Both got hurt, but even when they were hurt, neither one of them. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Beautiful job getting those hands up. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Whiffs on the uppercut there. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Get your rags back. Get out of there. Let's go. Let's oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that place. He's gonna do it! Holy smokes! What an absolute freak of a knockout here tonight. That's a three-check knockout, right? Show money, win money. Absolutely, J.A. There's nothing more exciting than a knockout in sport. You don't see it anywhere but these martial arts. This young man will celebrate this deep into the night as he should.